So I got two silvers. One is three nines fine, another is four nines fine. What is the difference? And does one provide you more value than another? And do you get more money back when you sell it? Like there's so much information out there. Sometimes it's good for military applications, medical applications. Maybe it's a higher amount of content. Maybe it's just conductivity where one is better than another. Who knows? Let's talk about it today. Welcome everyone. My name is Jose and I'm a stacker just like y'all. And today we're going to be talking about 3.9 silver versus 4.9 silver. What is the difference? Why do you use it? And is it important for you as a stacker to be concerned about? Before we even get to that, we need to talk about what is it? As in, why do we call it 3.9 silver versus 4.9 silver? Why not just call it 99.9% .9 or 99.99%? So when we look at three fines, nine silver, historically, it comes from the medicinal fineness system. This is very unique to precious metals where it's defined as a thousand parts, an alloy of a thousand parts. So when you say it's triple fine, it means there's 999 parts of that alloy in a thousand. So for an example of silver, if we say it's fine 999, it means it has 999 parts of silver and one part of a different metal composition, whether it's copper, gold, or zinc. It doesn't really matter on that point. That's what it is. It's not a marketing ploy that bullion dealers use or anywhere else. It's just a system that has been established many decades ago, if not centuries ago. So do you get less silver with three nines versus four nines silver? On the right side, you can see an American Silver Eagle, which is three nines. And here you see a Canadian Maple Leaf, which is a four nines. They're both one full troy ounce on a weight scale. They both contain at least that amount in silver. Now, what's that other 0.1% or 0.01%? Well, that's typically just other trace materials. We can see that sometimes it may not even be copper, but instead it could be zinc or other alloys. It doesn't really matter because when you buy this silver, you are still receiving one full troy ounce of silver. Now, is that extra alloy valuable? The quick answer to that is no, it's not more valuable. So right now I'm just going to test the fineness of an American Silver Eagle in here, just to show that it's either three ninths fine or four ninths fine. Right now, it's showing that it's four ninths silver. Who would have thought an American Silver Eagle 2025 is potentially four ninths? Now you need to understand how XRF machines are because they're just looking at the surface level of the actual metal. So it can be a little bit deceiving to see what it is. However, the results here are very interesting. If you look at it, it's 9998, not four nines, but three nines plus an eight. It's just a little bit there in order for them to convert their marketing into four nine silver. So now we're going to talk about what the science say about the conductivity of silver. Is one better than another, especially for industrial purposes? Well, the results might surprise you because in this publication, which we'll put on the link above or down below in the comments, in the 1930s, it showed silver does not have different conductivity properties that are significant when at room temperature. The only difference is in cryogenic temperatures. Now, 3.9 silver, 4.9 silver, what is more valuable? Well, let me give you a perspective from the dealer side. For us at Summit Metals, when you come and sell your silver, whether it's 3.9 silver or 4.9 silver, it just won't matter. What matters as the value of the silver is more about what is the condition that you have it in. Another aspect about the value is whether you're a collector versus an investor. Maybe perhaps a collector values a four nines fine silver versus a three nine silver. But again, when you're a collector, you're thinking about these small details. So for the majority of us, it doesn't matter. Now, what about when it comes to the industrial purposes? Well, most of the time when you're buying the silver, you're not buying it in order to sell to an industrial manufacturer. You're selling it back to a pawn shop, a jewelry store. And so again, the impact of it does not matter. Now, the other aspect could be about your own personal preference. 
do you simply like one type of coin around versus another? For example, you could have a Royal Canadian Mint, or you could have a Germanium Mint, or you could have an American Silver Eagle, or a Maple. All these things are your own preferences, and that actually determines the value of it because there might be more people who are interested in buying a Canadian Maple Leaf than a person who's interested in buying a silver bar. And that's what actually impacts the value of the silver that you actually decide to sell back, supply and demand. Now, as we talked about this, the supply and demand, we could talk about it outside of a collector aspect, but more about the industrial use. This is where I was talking about before. Does temperature matter? Yes, it does in certain applications. Let's say silver used in the military, but in what aspects of the military? Surprisingly enough, based on the study that I just mentioned previously in the video with NIST, that lower temperatures that actually increase the conductivity of silver, specifically satellites. Satellites are in sub-zero temperatures. The same could be said about aerospace, being in high altitudes, lower temperatures. Missiles will need higher conductivity because it's time critical. So then who is 49 Silver for? It's really more for industrial purposes in the military complex more than anything else. Yes, there are some applicabilities in a medical field, but silver is typically not used in the extent that it would move the silver price up or down. So to conclude, does 39 silver versus 49 silver matter? Not really. It just depends if you're actually an investor who stacks versus an individual who develops military applications in outer space. Are you a military contractor? Yes or no? If not, 39 silver is just as good as 49 silver. Don't allow that to be your decision factor when buying silver. All of it is good. It's all about the weight. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below so that we can keep giving you great content here on YouTube. See you in the next video. Happy stacking.